I went from the news desk to this. You're lucky you have this after the incident with the poodle. That could have happened to anyone. Alright, let's get started. We don't have all day. Where the hell is the real estate agent? Who? I gave him 50 bucks to let us shoot this story. There's his car. Where the hell is he? Hey, intern. What's your name again? Emma. Yeah, Emma. Make yourself useful and find us a way in. Good work, you got in. Did you see that goddamn real estate agent? No, the house is empty. That bastard. I should have given you the 50 bucks. Ew, it's musty. Chop, chop, it's time to hustle. Grab all the equipment in the van and get it in there. We're gonna set up. lights and let's get rolling. The power's out. We'll turn it back on. I don't know how. Figure something out. I hate every second of this.
Hey, Tom, do you know how to turn the power on? The power? Hmm. I don't know anything about that. Maybe look for a fuse box?
Hey, the power's back on. Let's get started. All right, good. Everything's set, Tom? Yep. Lighting's ready. The camera's rolling. Hey, Gary. I was thinking we could... I don't pay you to think, Dana. I pay you to read the goddamn script. I hate this job. Well, pull it together. Ready, everyone? All right. Action. Anthony Smith, more commonly known as the Easter Ripper. The mere mention of his name sends shivers up the spines of parents across the country, his horrible murder spree leaving lives shattered and families ripped apart. Tonight, we'll go inside his vacant home, where 11 innocent children spent their final moments in agonizing pain and terror. Untouched since those horrible crimes eight years ago, some say his spirit still haunts the home till this day. I'm Dana Turner, and this is a News 9 special report. Silenced Tears, inside the home of serial killer Anthony Smith. Cut. Let's take a break. Gary, I think I want to redo the line where- This isn't 60 minutes, Dana. It's channel fucking 9. We're not here to win a Pulitzer. Fine. I'm going to find a place in this gross house to fix my makeup. This is a great opportunity. Put in a little extra effort and you can really get ahead. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Where the hell is Dana? I don't want to wait around all day! this? Yes. Oh, I just remembered. I found this key lying around. See if you can find a real story in this house. Something that nobody has reported on. And maybe we can get hired on a real network. Hey, what are you goofing around for? Set those lights up and let's get rolling. Putting people to sleep here with this boring story. Time to sex this up. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Put this sheet on. Gary, what the fuck are you doing? No one's gonna want to watch this boring thing. And your dry reporting isn't helping. I'm reading the teleprompter. People want to see ghosts! Okay, intern. When Dana says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I want you to run through the background. Got it? All right, let's do this. Action! The rampage started in late March 1979, when Smith walked into a local mall and took a seasonal position as an Easter Bunny. A job meant to spread joy and cheer put him in the perfect position to abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered, 
As told by the sole survivor, Randy Martinez, Smith would release the children in his greenhouse and force them to go on a deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. God damn it! I said run by, not stand in a shot! A job meant to spread joy and cheer put him in the perfect position to abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered. As told by the sole survivor, Randy Martinez, Smith would release the children in his greenhouse and force them to go on a deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. What was that? Tom, did you get that? I apologize to the viewers at home, but I just felt an energy pass by behind me. Let's continue deeper into the house and see what secrets we uncover. Ah, this is rating Gold. Let's take a break and pick up in the bedroom. Great timing. I'm going to go use the restroom. Hey you, I'm getting hungry. Take the van and go pick us up some pizzas. Use the station credit card. What's taking so long? I can't function on an empty stomach. Sorry, I I'm going to go soon. Soon? Make it pronto. You know, this is a nice room. Let's film in here next.
Where are the pizzas? There's something going on here. The van has been wrecked and the gate is locked. Where's Tom? I don't know. I, I can't find him either. Ugh, must be the goddamn real estate agent. I told you you'd get another 50 bucks when we were done. Come out, you chicken shit. Damn it, Gary. It's getting dark and this place is scary and gross. Can we finish this? Fine. I don't know where the hell Tom is, so you're gonna have to hold the camera. What? I don't know how to work this. It's easy. Just hold it steady. That's about it. Okay. Action. This is Dana Turner, on location. I've just been informed that we're stuck here. Someone has wrecked our van and we can't get our fucking pizza lunch promised by my producer. Is Anthony Smith executed in the electric chair in 1985 back from the dead and back for revenge on anyone who enters his house? Find out soon if we don't get the fuck out of here. God damn it, Dana. Cut. I want my lunch. I can't work under these conditions. Fine. We'll take a break. Hey, intern girl, see if you can find where the hell Tom is. Tom, I didn't think I would find you. This is getting weird. Do you think the Easter Ripper is back? It looks like we're stuck here. All the doors are locked. Look, I found a key, but I can't figure out what it opens. Let me see. You take it. Maybe you can find the door. I'm going to go look for another way out. I'll catch you later. <laughs>
There's somebody else in here.